Okay, let's talk. I'm back at it, I took a few days off, and I'll try to explain why a little bit. China has been uniquely difficult to be traveling throughout for several reasons, so I will summarize. At first, I've been traveling for four months now. It's been four months now that I have been on the road, in and out of suitcases, hotels, flights, all that stuff. I am beat. Number two, money has been an issue. Not specifically money, but cash. I haven't had a debit card since September. Thank you, Chase. They suspended my card and left me completely stranded. I have not had an easy way of getting cash since Bath, UK. And of course other places take credit cards, but China is a very closed system. Most places don't even take credit cards. Yes, your normal Visa or MasterCard, they don't take it. Here in China, they have Alipay and WePay. Alibaba is like their Amazon. WeChat is a very popular chat app. They use that to pay as well. So everything just has QR codes. Problem is, in order to use that, you need to be a Chinese resident, have a Chinese phone number, and have a Chinese bank account. I don't have any of those, so getting cash has been very difficult. So even to receive a Western Union, they said I required a Chinese bank account. Also, even when I get cash, the largest note they have is the 100 UN note. That is equivalent to about 14 US dollars. So if you can imagine the largest cash note being available in the US being a $10 bill and having to carry a week or so worth of cash around, pretty rough. Number three, the language barrier in China has been extraordinarily difficult. And I get it, that's on me. I didn't learn Chinese before coming here. I understand 0% of Chinese. When you take two of the most difficult languages and combine them, it is no bueno. Also, mainland China, unlike most places I've visited, are not tourist destinations. These people are not geared on tourism. They don't care about me coming here. They don't need to learn my language in order to sell me things. Mainland China is a very closed system that is very self-sufficient. I can usually rely on a translator app, such as Google Translate or something like that, to try to bridge that gap. But that brings me to my next point, number four, cell phone data. Chinese government blocks most sites that I use normally, like Google, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, WhatsApp, etc. Basically, they want you to use the sites that they own and they control so that they can monitor all of the data. So I've had to use a VPN. What is a VPN? So I've had to use a VPN or virtual private network through my little orange Skyrim device that bounces off of already bad cell phone networks. What I'm doing is connecting to a Wi-Fi that this device has created that's going off of bad cell phone networks and then the whole thing has to be routed through either US, Hong Kong, or Japan for me to be able to get the sites that I use and need while I'm traveling here. So it takes forever. It drops connections constantly. Navigation and communication have been rough. Number five, I've been working at kind of lame Bitcoin meetup startup events. And honestly, if I never step foot in some disgusting lobby of some five-star hotel with their fake gaudy orange chandeliers and a bunch of people in cheap suits standing in front of plastic tables with cardboard signs talking about how they're all going to revolutionize the payment industry, I'll be fine. Number six, I have run into some moral and creative differences with a collaborator, but that is for another time. Lastly, number seven, I hate rain, I hate cold, I hate gray skies. I hate this. This weather depresses me so much. I miss New York City and so many people that I love so much right now. And the only reason I'm not there is because I didn't want to be there for winter. If I'm not willing to put up with this weather for people I love, I'm certainly not willing to put up with this weather for business meetings. Either way, I got to the point where I could not see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I was getting really depressed and I couldn't keep talking about waiting to leave China when I just didn't have an end date. Talking about it seemed futile. I didn't wanna make a video that I wasn't proud of, but now I have hours left here, okay? Several hours, but hours. Not days, not almost a week left. After four months of being alone, to finally see faces of people I know and love and want to see and want to be around. And I'm excited to just reset a little bit. So whenever I wasn't stuck in hotel conference rooms or lobbies or hour long taxi rides through the rain, Shanghai was actually pretty great. It snowed and it was beautiful. I rode in a tunnel. It was exactly like the Willy Wonka boat ride. I went out and did some street and some night photography. I flew the drone, all that great stuff. But the story that was happening during that time was, God, this sucks. And I didn't want to tell a God, this sucks story but I can tell a man that kind of sucked, but now it's over story. Maybe something will come from the Shanghai footage, maybe not. Sometimes when it doesn't, doesn't have a good enough story for me, it just hits the cutting room floor. 
I want things to be happy. Even if times get bad, I want there to be a positive at the end. There's gotta be some sort of moral. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. That being said, I am coming back to Phoenix for a few weeks. I might even go to LA for a couple of days. I would love to see you. So if you want to meet up, hang out, do whatever, do something, film something, whatever, hit me up. And also, I am doing something for my birthday at The Yard in downtown Phoenix, uh, 7th Street at Culinary Dropout. Uh, around December 15th, so it's just kind of an open invite. It's a giant bar and restaurant. They have like cornhole and ping pong and everything else. It should be a ton of fun. Uh, you guys might have seen the Facebook event. I don't know. Uh, but either way, if you're in Phoenix, come by, say hi, say hi to the vlog. I'll be filming and doing fun stuff. Uh, I'll probably be there like midday, like noon to four-ish. Uh, I'm just hanging out and playing. So come if you want and leave if you want. And it's just open invite. It's just a big open bar. So. And if you can't come by, then just let me know and uh, we'll do something else. Either way, I don't know if I should appreciate the fact that nobody bothered me while I wasn't posting videos or I should be offended by it, but I'm glad to be back on track. And I'm glad to be leaving China and uh, especially happy to be returning home to my friends and family in Phoenix. Excited to see you all, excited for Christmas and New Year's and the holidays and my birthday and so many good positive things coming up uh, that I cannot wait to share with you all and show show some adventures from my childhood and go back through my history. So I'm really looking forward to this. Hope you guys are too. This is a new fun little chapter before I get back out on the road to see the wild world. I'm Richie Tolley with Unguided Nations and this time I'm pretty sure I'll see you tomorrow on another adventure.